Hi friends, uh, my name is Umesh. So today we are going to learn about how to find rank of a matrix by using Eclom form. So uh, in last video we have discussed. So a matrix is said to be in the Eclom form. It should satisfy the three properties. Property P1 is about all the zero row of that matrix. Let's say our below to the non-zero row. And property two is about leading element of each non-zero row is one. And property three is about the leading element of let's say R i plus one should of course write to the leading element of R i. So I will explain these properties with the help of this example. First of all, we have to convert this matrix into the Eclon form. After that. The rank of the matrix is equal to the number of non-zero row in the Eclon form of that matrix. But this matrix is not in the Eclon form. So first we have to convert this matrix into the Eclon form. So how to convert the matrix into the Eclon form by using elementary row operations? So here, this matrix. Why this matrix is not in the Eclon form? The first property said the first non-zero number from left of a non-zero row should be one. Here, this is a non-zero row, but this is five is the first non-zero entry from left. That is five. So come to the row R two. This is the first non-zero number from left one. No problem. And now come to the row R three. This is the first non-zero entry from left. This is also one. But I want to make this five as one. So can I swap my row R one and R three so that so if I swap my row. R1 and R3, so I get the resultant matrix as here 1 minus 1, 2 and 0. Here I am swapping row R1 and R3. At that time, row R2 should be remain same. Here this is 0, 1, 2, 1. Now row R3 is 5, 3, 14 and 4. Here. Now this matrix is equivalent to this matrix A. What is the matrix A? Let's say this is the matrix B. This B matrix is equivalent to matrix A. Now can I apply? Now I want to make this five as zero. So after so after making the leading element of R one is zero in the below the all below the this leading element in the same column. Try to make all the element in the same column zero zero. So This is the first row. Uh, this is the first row, first column entry. So after that, in the same first column, make all the entries should be zero. So this is zero entry. No need to do anything. Now can I apply here elementary operation as R three changes to R three minus five times R one. Here after applying this elementary operation, I get the resultant matrix as here one minus one two zero. Second row as it is zero one two one. Third row five minus five times one zero. Three minus minus five here is eight. Minus fourteen uh, minus ten fourteen minus ten here is four. Four minus zero times five that is simply four. Now here this is the first leading element and in the same column all the entries are zero. Now come to the second leading element of my row R2. This is the leading element of my row R1. This is the leading element of my row R2. I want to make all the element below in the same columns are zero. So this is eight is the non-zero entry. So I want to make this eight as zero. So can I apply my elementary operation as R3 changes to R3 minus eight times R2? So I get the resultant matrix as here first row as it is one minus one. Two zero. Second row also as it is zero one two one. Now third row zero minus eight times zero zero. Eight minus eight times one zero. Four minus sixteen. Four minus sixteen how much? Minus twelve. Four minus minus eight. That is minus four. Now this is the first non zero entry from left one this is the first non zero entry of row r2 that is one now i want to make this minus 12 as one i want to make this is the first non zero entry of row r3 which is minus 12 i want to make this minus 12 as one can i apply elementary row operation as can i multiply minus 1 by 12 to row r3 
So here after applying this elementary operation, I got the matrix 1, minus 1, 2, 0. Here 0, 1, 2, 1. Here 0, 0, 1 and 1 by 3. Now this matrix is in the equal form or not? Yes, this matrix is in the equal form. Why? This is the first non-zero entry from left 1 leading element. Now come to the row R2. This is the first non-zero entry from left which is 1. Okay. Now come to the row R3. This is the first non-zero entry from left. This is also okay. Now come to the property 3. He said the leading element of R2 occurs right to the leading element of R1. Okay. The leading element of R3 occurs right to the leading element of R2. This is the leading element of R3 occurs right to the leading element of R2. And this is the leading element of R2 occurs right to the leading element of R1. So this matrix satisfies all the three properties of the equivalent form. So this matrix is in the equivalent form. So we have to find the rank of this matrix. Now this matrix, let's say I am giving this matrix name as let's say C. This matrix C is equivalent to A. Now I want to find the rank of this matrix A. Just find the rank of the matrix C. Rank of the matrix C is same as the rank of the matrix A. Now, the rank of the matrix in the equal form is equal to the number of non-zero row. Here, the number of non-zero row in this matrix is 3. So, the rank of this matrix is so the rank of this matrix is equal to 3. Why? The number of non-zero row. This is the non-zero row. This is the non-zero row. And this is the non-zero row. So, the rank of this matrix is equal to 3. Thank you.